verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. This GTA 5 mission doesn't make any sense. I know what you're going to say, it's just a game man, nothing in the game makes sense. And yes, I agree with you, if everything in the game started making sense or became too realistic, it would get too boring. Take Mafia for example. I really want to drive past. Anyway, this scene is not limited to GTA 5. You may have seen this exact kind of scene in numerous movies, skits and TV shows literally everywhere. But medically it doesn't make any sense. If you get knocked out after being hit, that is very dangerous and nothing in these scenes portrays it accurately. Now in reality what should have happened? In reality, most hits like these would cause a rapid shaking of the head which would make the person dizzy, confused, sensitive to noise and light and cause nausea. This is called a concussion. A person most likely won't become unconscious. If it was a very hard hit, it could break the skull which would be extremely dangerous as the broken bone can damage the brain and the hematoma and swelling can put pressure on the brain. Brain hemorrhage can also occur which is very very dangerous and can be life threatening. However, it would not cause immediate unconsciousness. After a while, when blood occupies more and more space, it can lead to unconscious and the duration of unconscious can even indicate the severity of the brain injury. Now, for example, if a person does become immediately unconscious and recovers, he will still not be the same. Why is that? It's because becoming unconscious is a sign of brain injury and its symptoms can last for hours, even days, not just a few for a few moments and and you just recover and act normal. Anyway, the main point is that you can become unconscious with a relatively minor impact. But if you do, it will be really dangerous and will have long lasting effects. And also, it will never leave you the same.